Jono sells 20 bucks a week at $400 each. For each $10 price reduction, he can sell two more books per week. The books cost Jono $200 each. Part A, how many books per week should Jono sell to maximize profit? So we want to maximize the profit in this problem. Part B, at what price should he sell them? And part C, what is Jono's maximum profit? So in this problem, we're told something about price reductions. So X is going to be the number of $10 price reductions. Normally in these problems, X is the quantity. So if you're selling 10 computers, X is 10. It's the number of things that are being sold. Here, X is the number of price reductions. The profit function is still the same. So it's the revenue function minus cost, right? Profit is revenue minus cost. The revenue function is also the same, at least conceptually. Revenue is quantity times price. So normally in other problems, that would be like X times little p of X, where X was the number of units. But here, X is price reduction, so we can't do that. So it'll be the quantity function times the price function. We can write this as P of X, Q of X. It just looks a little better. Let's go ahead and start the problem. So we have to maximize the profit function. We have to make this as big as possible. Before we do that, though, we actually have to find it, and that's the hard part. That means we have to find the revenue and we have to find the cost. Let's go ahead and find the revenue first. To find the revenue, we need the price function, so little p of x, and we also need the quantity function, so little q of x. So let's read it carefully. Jono sells 20 books a week at $400 each. So the price is $400. And then it says, for each $10 price reduction, he can sell two more books per week. Well, it's $400 minus the number of price reductions. So minus 10 times the number of price reductions, right? Because 10 is the amount of money he's reducing the price by. So if he reduces the price once, it would be 400 minus 10. If he reduces the price twice, it would be 400 minus 20, etc. He sells 20 books a week, so 20 at $400 each, and then it says for each $10 price reduction, he can sell two more per week. So the quantity is 20 plus two more books per price reduction, so times X. This is absolutely the hardest part of the entire problem. Now the rest of it is still kind of long and messy, but this is the hardest part to figure out, I think. The rest of the mistakes that happen usually occur just because uh, of carelessness. Okay, now we can find the revenue function. So the revenue function, it's the price times the quantity. So that will be 400 minus 10x, and then times 20 plus 2x. Let's multiply this out. So 400 times 20, that's going to be 8,000. And then 400 times 2x, that will be 800x. And then the inside, that will be minus 200x. And then the last will be minus 20x squared. So the revenue function is equal to minus 20x squared. 800 minus 200 is 600. And then we have the plus 8,000. So that's the revenue function. Now we have to find the cost function. So I'll do that, uh, I'll do it over here. So the cost function. So the cost is $200 each, right? He cost the books, the books cost him $200 each. So it's $200 per book. Normally it would just be 200X, but in this case X, again, it's price reductions. So it's $200 times the number of books he sells, so times the quantity function. So 200 times Q of X, is 200 times, well here's Q, so 220 plus 2x, so this is equal to 20 times 200 is 4,000, and then 2x times 200 is 400x. So that is our cost function. So now we can find the profit function. 
So the profit function, big P of X, it's the revenue minus the cost. Well, here's the revenue. So negative 20X squared plus 600X plus 8,000. That's the revenue function. Minus the cost function, so 4,000 plus 400X. Let's clean this up carefully. So the profit function is equal to minus 20x squared. Let's see, we have 600x minus 400x. There's a minus here, so this will be plus 200x. And then we have 8,000 minus 4,000, so 4,000. Now we finally have the profit function, so we can rejoice. The rest of the problem is actually pretty easy. We have to find the maximum of this function, so we'll use the second derivative test. So we'll take the derivative, set it equal to zero, and find the critical numbers. That'll be the first step. So taking the derivative, here you bring the two down, so you get negative 40x. And then the derivative of 200x is just 200. And the derivative of 4,000 is zero. You can set this equal to zero, subtract the 200, and then divide by negative 40. And so you get x equals 5. This is your critical number. To make sure it's a critical number, we have to use the second, to make sure it's a maximum, we have to use the second derivative test. So we take the second derivative, that's negative 40, and then you plug in your critical number into your second derivative. In this case, when we plug in 5, we just get negative 40. That's less than 0. So by the second derivative test, by the second derivative test, second der test, x equals 5 maximizes the profit function. So 5 makes the, makes the profit a maximum. Well, what is 5? 5 is the number of price reductions. So with 5 price reductions, Jana will make the maximum amount of profit. Now let's go back to the questions. Part A said, how many books per week should Jono sell to maximize profit? So in part A, we want to find out how many books he must sell. Well, we know that five price reductions will maximize his profit. So we'll use the quantity function. So Q of five, this is how many books he should sell, is 20 plus two times five, so 30. So 30 books. He needs to sell 30 books to maximize profit. Part B. Part B is asking at what price should he sell them? So it's asking for the price, so we'll use the price function. So little p of x, little p of 5 is equal to 400 minus 10 times 5. So this is 400 minus 50, so $350. So that's the price he should sell the books at to maximize profit. And part C wants the actual maximum profit. So you just plug in 5 into big P. So big P is right here. Here's big P. So this is equal to negative 20 times 5 squared plus 200 times 5 plus 4,000. And if you put this in your calculator, you should get, um, looks like $4,500. I haven't worked this problem out until now. So I'm actually doing it as I make this video. So that is the maximum profit. So again, part A wanted to know how many books you should sell. So it was asking for the quantity, so we used the quantity function. We got 30 books. Part B wanted to know the price he should sell them at, so we use the price function, so $350 each. And Part C actually wanted to know the maximum profit, so we use the profit function to find that. Uh, long problem, it's tough, but hopefully this video has helped. I hope it made sense.